everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. I missed you guys. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day two of our daily conversation, and it's called a plastic-free life. Taking extra steps, and the vocabulary、Why? words are necessity, necessity, food and water are basic necessities. Jar, jar. There is a jar of jam on the table.、Mm. Stuff, stuff. The shop sells all kinds of stuff. Aware. Aware. Please be aware of the rules. Okay, I am aware of the rules. Are you though? Are you really? Yeah, I don't use you know like the plastic bags anymore. Oh, okay.、Mm -hmm. So you really are taking extra steps in order to kind of get rid of plastic bags. Well, well, I don't want to encourage using plastic bags because、uh, that's going to create more trash. So in the second day, though, we're talking about becoming plastic free.、Mm. So just not using plastic anymore, because the problem with plastic is actually really hard to、mm, get back into the earth, right? For、that's、it to、right. biodegrade, we say. So、mm -hmm. um, if we can avoid plastics altogether, that would be great. But I guess it's not very easy. But look at all the you know things that we use at home, like toothbrushes. Yeah. So right. Right now there are a lot of alternatives. Like we read in the dialogue that there's like bamboo. Uh, toothbrushes rather than plastic, and,、mm -hmm. and but how about like the toothpaste tubes? Yeah, they have like glass jars now that you can use instead of plastic. Okay. So I think if you know companies just are creative, they can make products that are plastic free. But I think、mm. the main thing is that just as a consumer,、yes. as people who are buying these things, that we are aware. And then you can support the companies that are more environmentally friendly. Yeah, and then yourself, just don't use things. You know, bring along a fork and some chopsticks, and just have those in your bag with you every day, rather than、right. wasting them. Right? Yes. Okay. There's so much we can do. Let's learn more and let's become better Earthlings. <laughs> All right. Enjoy today's lesson. Enjoy. David and Amy discuss how they can become completely plastic-free. Avoiding plastic used for food and drinks is a good start, but why stop there? Well, it's pretty hard to totally eliminate it from your life. I mean, what about common necessities like toothbrushes? Believe it or not, there are plastic-free toothbrushes. You can get one made of bamboo. Okay, but what about toothpaste? That always comes in a plastic tube. Not always. You can get toothpaste in glass jars, though you might have to go to special shops for that. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called Daily Conversation: A Plastic-Free Life. Day two. Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we're enjoying our second dialogue with our friends Amy and David. They're kind of talking about how we can live a more plastic-free life. Today, we're going to be taking it a little bit further, which is a good thing because the title of our dialogue today is "Taking Extra Steps," so doing even more. Than you might expect, or even more than you might already know about.、So、part one of the daily conversation was called taking action.、Mm -hmm. That's when you start to do something. Okay,、yeah. I remember Amy or David talking about getting the ball rolling, but that's just the beginning. You have to follow through and do more. It's not enough to take action. Sometimes you also have to take extra steps. Anyways. David and Amy, of course, they are back. And David and Amy discuss how they can become completely plastic-free. So、wow. straws and cups—that's not enough. Wow, completely plastic-free. Plastic This, of course, is not all plastic because you know your smartphone has plastic in it. But you don't throw away your smartphone every time you use it. So we're really talking about the things that we use and then throw away. Those disposable items that we talked about yesterday. So Amy begins today's dialogue with another great question for her friend David. She says, "Avoiding plastic used for food and drinks is a good start." That was yesterday's topic. But why stop there? So she's kind of saying this not really as a question, just as a way of sort of moving the conversation or, or getting people to think. Yeah, why should we stop there? What are some other things we can do? Next, David says, "Well, I would like to totally get rid of plastic、mm -hmm. in my life,、yeah. but it's pretty hard to totally eliminate it、mm -hmm. 
from your life. By the way, if you eliminate something, you totally get rid of that thing. You remove that thing, let's say, from your life. Mm -hmm. And David's not done. He also says, I mean, what about common necessities like toothbrushes? Mm. Remember, yeah, your toothbrush is probably made of plastic. So should you stop brushing your teeth? No, because toothbrushes and brushing your teeth and taking care of your teeth and stuff like this, these things are necessities. Mm -hmm. Yes, here the word is necessity. It's a noun. A necessity is something that is necessary. It's something that you need. It's something that you can't go without. You have to have that thing. And yes, you have to have a toothbrush or else your teeth are going to rot out of your face. And that's not a good thing. You Anyways, have to get plastic teeth. Uh, yo, plastic teeth. Uh, end up in the oceans. Anyways, for example, food and water are basic necessity. Hmm. You need these things in order to live. Without them, you will die. That's right. And a toothbrush, you could also say, is a necessity. I've never seen a metal toothbrush or a glass one. And of course, you do replace toothbrushes, right? Because hmm. they don't, they stop working quite as well. But Amy's got a bit of news for all of us. She says, believe it or not, there are plastic-free Toothbrushes, toothbrushes that are made without any plastic, and she says you can get one made of bamboo. 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 So it is disposable, but of course bamboo is natural. It bio, it's biodegradable. It will break down over time when you throw it away. It won't be there forever like a plastic brush. Mm. Next, David says, okay, mm -hmm. bamboo, a bamboo, bamboo toothbrush. toothbrush, a toothbrush made of bamboo. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but what about toothpaste? The toothpaste, yeah. that always comes in a plastic tube. When you get it, they have to give it to you in a container. And yes, that container is plastic, or the tube comes in plastic. Mmm, it does always come in plastic, but Amy disagrees. She says, not always. All toothpaste does not come in plastic uh, bottles or, or tubes. You can actually get an alternative. It says you can get toothpaste in glass jars, though you might have to go to special shops for that. And a jar is basically a container. Jars are usually kind of short, a little bit wide, round. They often have a lid on top. When you think of what you keep your jam in or honey or peanut butter, or something like that. Those are often in jars. Jars made of plastic or, quite commonly, glass as well. For example, there is a jar of jam on the table. Pick it up, unscrew the top, and in the toothpaste case, I guess, dip your bamboo toothbrush in there and brush away. Sounds great. Yeah. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll wrap up this month's daily conversation after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的对话当中看到 ，Amy 和 David 已经开始采取行动，慢慢把一些用完即丢的塑胶用品换成可以重复利用的环保用具了。那现在他们正在讨论要如何达到完全无塑胶的目标。Jeff 老师说，你要达成目标，除了要开始采取行动，还要坚持到底。那老师用到 follow through。Follow through 这个片语，它表示持续的执行，直到完成为止。常常用来指持续执行的计划啊，或是政策等等。那用来表达说坚持或者是进行到底。好 ，David 就提到说，要把塑胶完全从生活中排除是很困难的，尤其是常见的必需品，像是牙刷还有牙膏。那牙膏通常都是装在塑胶管里面嘛。那 Amy 就说，其实现在市面上有非塑胶制的牙刷，像是竹制的，也就是竹子做的，而且还有玻璃罐装的牙膏，不过可能得去特别的店才买得到。好，我们先来看两个单字 ，necessity，necessity。Necessity, necessity. 它当可数名词，可以用来表达必需品或者是不可或缺的事物。那它可以当不可数名词来表达必要性。好，那它的相关词性 necessary necessary 则是形容词，形容必要的或是必须的。再来看 jar jar， 它是指玻璃罐或者是广口瓶。至于补充单字 eliminate。
eliminate， 它表示排除、消除，它是当动词来用。那 eliminate 它的意思就跟 get rid of 或者是 remove 很相近。好，刚刚 Mike 老师有提到，竹制产品可以生物分解。那老师用到 biodegradable， biodegradable 这个形容词就表示可以生物分解的。老师还有用到片语动词 break down， break down 这个片语它当不及物用的时候有分解的意思。接回到课文中。You sure know a lot about this stuff. Honestly, there are still a lot of things I haven't been able to cut out. Some of my personal cosmetics, the pens I write with, and even the sunscreen I use at the beach—they all require plastic. Well, cutting out plastic completely is no easy task, but at least you're aware of the problem and trying to solve it. Yeah, I need to read up a bit more on this subject. Let me know what you find out. I will. 
I'm going to have to read up on this subject. Become more aware. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And David is happy she'll be doing that, and he would love her to share the things that she learns about this stuff, about this subject. So he says, "Let me know what you find out. Keep me aware. You know, tell me what you find out." And Amy says, "I will." So it sounds like together they're going to be doing as much as they can to eliminate all the unnecessary plastic. From their lives, yeah, and so should we. So should we. We、mm. should really strive towards a plastic-free Earth. Okay, folks. With that, our lesson has come to an end, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Amy 刚刚建议 David 可以去买竹制的牙刷，还有玻璃罐装的牙膏。他对于减少塑胶用量这方面的事情懂很多。不过呢，他还有很多没有办法戒掉的东西，像是化妆品啊、写字用的笔啊、防晒乳等等，这些全都需要用到塑胶。David 就认为。完全不用塑胶并不容易，至少 Amy 她有意识到这个问题，也有尝试要解决，这样已经很棒了。那么 Amy 就说，她还需要再多多研究这个主题。如果之后还有什么发现新的资讯啊，或者新的方法，她也会跟 David 来分享。我们最后来看两个单字 ，stuff。Stuff 是指东西、物品，那要特别注意 ，stuff 是不可数名词。当我们没有要特别明讲啊，明确指出有哪些东西时，你就可以用 stuff 来统称。刚刚 Jeff 老师在解释单字时，他用到 indeterminate。indeterminate 则是形容不确定的、不明确的或是含糊的。好，下一个单词 aware， aware 是形容词，形容意识到的、察觉到的或是知道的。我们常常用 be aware of 加上名词或动名词来表达意识到什么、察觉到什么。好，另外文中的 cut out， cut out 它表示戒除或是停止使用。好了，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。第一个是 believe it or not， 第二个是 come in 加上名词，第三个是 cut out， 第四个是 read up on something 或是 read up about something。首先，我们来学习 believe it or not。Believe it or not, 表示信不信由你，是用来带出一项可能令人吃惊的事实。例如 ，Believe it or not, an adult elephant can drink up to three hundred liters of water per day. 信不信由你，成年的大象一天可以喝下高达三百公升的水。接下来，我们来学习 come in 加上名词。Come in 加上名词表示以什么样的形式贩售。Come in 后面常常接表示尺寸、材质、颜色等等的名词，用来表达物品有哪些不同的样式可供选择。例如 ，The blouse comes in five colors。这款女衬衫有五种颜色可以选择。接下来，我们来学习 cut out。Cut out 是及物片语动词，可以用来指戒除或是停止使用。例如 ，He hasn't made up his mind to cut out smoking. 他还没有下定决心戒烟。另外，在口语中可以用 cut it out 或是 cut that out 来表达别闹了、住手、停手。例如 ，That's enough, kids. Cut it out. 小朋友够喽，别闹了，马上给我住手。最后。我们来学习 read up on something 或是 read up about something。片语动词 read up on something 或是 read up about something 是指为了得到相关资讯而做彻底的研究或者是钻研某事物。例如 ，He read up on the history of the cathedral。他彻底的研究那一座大教堂的历史。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time， bye。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是志安。搭飞机的时候呢，有些地方你都要经过转机，转机，转机，还不一定能直飞，哎，就没有直达，哇，很惨哎，真的。
。好，我们来看一下这个转机的时候相关的英文哈。好，这个飞机舱等差不多。先要认识飞机舱。三种对不对 ？OK， 一般来说了哈，就是 economy class， economy class， economy 就是经济哈、嗯，经济舱最便宜的。对，再来的话就是高等一点点 business class， business class， 商务舱、嗯、哦。那头等舱就是 first class，、哦、不是 top class，、okay? <笑> first class。OK， 我会 first class， first class。OK。那对于需要转机人来讲，这个出入境的时间分秒都不能差错，因为你不小心 miss 掉，就哇，完蛋了、啊，你后面全部都。因为你要转的飞机是准时的，那你这边延误了，你就哈哈哈,哈、哦。OK， 好，那我们就要注意这个出境啊，起飞的这个时间哦。是。这个出境起飞的时间 departure time。departure time。对，那入境或者是抵达的时间，那个叫 arrival time。arrival time。刚刚那个 departure depart 就是离开 ，OK。Arrive 就是抵达，哈、哦，那这个 departure 跟 arrival 都是名词 ，OK。所以起飞的时间，你可以问他说 ，When is the departure time？ When is the departure time？、嗯、对对。那比如直达转机，还有中途停靠这种英文要怎么说呢？ Okay, 直达的班机叫做 direct flight。direct flight、哦。那如果他需要转机的、转班的啊、哦，这个东西叫做 connecting flight。Connecting flight.、Uh, connect, it 本来的意思是连接哈，那也有衔接的意思啊。所以、嗯、那刚刚讲说错过这个班机，我们可以说 miss the flight. Miss the flight. 啊，比如说、oh. I will miss the connecting flight if the departure time is delayed. 文灿 ，I will miss the connecting flight if the departure time is delayed. 嗯、啊，对，那。没办法、啊，对、嗯、，OK。那再来的话就是这个中途停靠的，好，就是像呃，它是直飞的，对不对？哎、啊，不，它不是直飞的，它不需要换飞机的哈、嗯。那但是中间会 stop over， 嗯，它会在某个机场先休息，休息一下，再加个油之类的。好，所以对，飞机是同一辆哈、嗯，那个东西叫 stop over。Stop over. 对对对。嗯，可是专业的地勤人员都会尽量帮助我们的旅客，看能不能尽快在衔接上转机的时间班机，他不会帮你 miss 掉任何一班飞机，对,对,对,对不对？所以本来这一个他可能慢了，然后他就会跟你说哈、嗯、，I can put you on an eight fifteen flight. I can put you on an eight fifteen flight. Put you on、嗯、就是把你放在，把你安排到某一台这个班机 ，OK， 就帮你搭乘，然安排搭乘这一班好了，八点十五分。嗯 Okay. 那来看今天的 live action. Ma'am, you're traveling in business class to LA with a stopover in Hong Kong. Correct. I'm sorry, your 7:40 a.m. flight to Hong Kong has been delayed. <gasps> That's not good. What's the new departure time? Uh, the new departure time is 10:30 a.m. <gasps> That means I will miss my connecting flight, and I have to be in LA tomorrow morning for the meeting for business. You know, I cannot lose my okay, job. Okay. You know, I really、Let、need a job. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. I need a job. I need a job. All right. Good news. I can put you on an A15 <gasps> flight, so you can still catch your connecting flights to LA. <gasps> 